Well, thank you. We work very closely with Senator Stabenow of the Great Lakes and her position as chair of the Agriculture Committee. So uh, we share a, a great deal in our pride on the great water bodies of the United States. So I, I appreciate uh, that comment. Uh, uh, Professor Waterhouse, uh, I am very impressed by your background. I'm going to sort of a, deal with this from a, a, an area that I think you'll feel very comfortable about. Brownfields, the uh, Superfund sites in America, 60% uh, of which are unusually impacted by climate change. President Biden, and I think this Congress is committed to environmental justice issues. We did that very much so in the bipartisan infrastructure package, and we, we continue to stress the importance of environmental justice. So I, I would like to get uh, your game plan on how you're gonna deal with your portfolio, recognizing that underserved communities, minority communities have been adversely impacted uh, by these policies, which is added to the health disparity and income disparity of America. Thank you so much for the question, Senator. The issue of climate change has had a significant impact on our world, as you know. And with regards to the Superfund program, it is so vital that we make sure that all of the remedial actions that we're taking are sustainable and resilient so that when we do have more intensified storms and when we have additional flooding events and when we're dealing with wildfires, that those remedies don't fail. This is something we've taken very seriously in our office. And in fact, I've worked along with other staff to see that our Superfund Division Director was able was able to send and did issue just recently a memo to all of the EPA regions that they would double down on reviewing and evaluating all of the remedial actions that are in place to ensure that they have an adaptability, a sensitivity, a vulnerability analysis, and a resilience. In other words, doing an analysis to make sure that they are able to hold and withstand any kinds of changes and threats that we're going to be facing as a result of climate change. Additionally, with regards to environmental justice, our office is moving forward to evaluate different programs we have to make sure that we're doing the most that we possibly can to see that environmental justice is done. And under the leadership of this committee, we are going to give you additional resources and tools in order to deal with this challenge. And uh, uh, we believe we can make uh, substantial progress in protecting vulnerable communities. So thank you very much for your willingness to take on this incredibly challenging position. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sir.